Welcome back to LearnFalcon.com. In this next video, I'm going to show you how to scaffold a database table into uh, a mini application uh, using um, the Falcon Dev Tools that we've installed in the previous video. So, in order to be able to scaffold something from a database, you need a database. And this this is a little script I have on my blog post page that creates a little tennis club database that I'll be using in the next number of videos. If you have a database of your own, please, by all means, feel free to, to try that one. But I will say that um, you need to make sure that all of your field names are in lowercase. Uh, there's a little quirk of Falcon, or the current version of Falcon seems to have a couple of little uh, quirks around uh, not handling uppercase field names particularly well. So watch out for that. So there I've created the database. It's a simple database describing tennis clubs. It has members, courts, and bookings. And uh, the booking table has two foreign keys to say which member is booked which court. Um, so now I can return to um, the command line interface. And before I do that, I need to, well, I'm back there now. So C slash ZAMP slash htdocs. Uh, see the tennis club. So the tennis club folder was created in the last video by the Falcon DevTools command which created not just the tennis club folder, but the entire folder structure. If we just take a look at that for a second. So within this, there's an application folder, which has models, views, and controllers, which is very typical for an MVC framework, and a config file. And the config file has, among other things, the database credentials. And the database credentials are, you know, the the initial project is designed to point to a database called test. We now have a database called tennis club. So I'm going to, I'm going to change this in the credentials. I'll leave root and localhost for the moment. Uh, seems we're just practicing. Uh, so now I can go ahead and scaffold. The Falcon command is not visible from this folder. If you uh, placed the Falcon folder on C colon slash and then added that folder to the Windows path environment variable, uh, you would be able to use it like that. But I didn't do that. So I need to copy the Falcon batch file, which is in the folder directly above. So dot dot slash refers to the folder directly above into this folder. Now I can do it, Falcon. So there's the commands that are available for me to me. So Falcon scaffold and I'm going to scaffold a member table. Now, I like my classes that get generated by the scaffolder to have getter and setter methods. So I use the minus minus get minus set switch. Uh, if you're not sure about that, that's just an object-oriented programming uh, approach that requires normally um, classes to be encapsulated so they have getter and setter methods. Now, what's happened is the a model has been generated that maps exactly to the um, the member table in the database. Let's have a look. App models member. So this was just generated by the scaffolder, and it maps exactly to. And there's object relational mapping functionality built into Falcon, which will allow this class to map to the database table. So very handy. Um, and in addition to that, it created a controller class, a member controller, with various different actions. And the actions are those associated with CRUD, create, read, update, and delete functionality. So a whole ton of code that we didn't have to write. Let's try it out. So localhost slash tennis club. Let's start there. So that's just a congratulations page. We would have got that without scaffolding anything. But now, because we've scaffolded something, we can go member slash search. And you'll see there are all the people in my tennis club. And I can edit their details. I can create new members. I can update. I can read existing members. I can update members. And I can delete members. So CRUD. Create, read, update, and delete. So let's just see. Do we update that person to junior? We did successfully. So I can create a new member. So 
there's not a huge amount of, of menu built in. You'll notice it's using Twitter Bootstrap as a kind of a, a template, which is good. That's built in. And there's a new member. So we can create, read, update, and delete. Well, scaffolding has made good on the promise. Okay, that's the end of that video.